everyone my name is Ahmed Tariq today we will explain how to perform the engagement clutch pressure calibration on the Caterpillar 980H loader if you will gonna watch me for the first time please make subscribe to this channel in order to see the upcoming videos in the maintenance section also uh, if you've got any inquiries regarding this video please leave a comment and make like and share to that video engagement clutch engagement pressure pressure for trans transmission clutch using electronic technician how to calibrate it okay now we are gonna start with this procedure or this test in order to perform the transmission clutch engagement test pro test procedure for transmission clutch engagement for serial numbers mhg a j gms for the 980 caterpillar 980h caterpillar loader okay first of all the test will provide us with the pump and pressure which is 335 psi it is the pump pressure here it is it is the pump pressure okay 335 psi and the test procedures says that initially each clutch pressure will take the pump pressure when it gets engaged so in order to calibrate each clutch with its specified pressure we need to perform this test okay so when we will make this calibration of the transmission clutch engagement it will be when a clutch solenoid modulating valve has been replaced or cleaned so once you will change a modulating valve you will perform this calibration a different powertrain ECM has been installed when installing a new ECM transmission clutch has been rebuilt if you made a full rebuilt or change a class, uh, clutch or a disc and or a disc and plate for a transmission you will change the you will perform this test harsh shifting exists when you've got hard shifting you will need to make this calibration okay so let us follow the calibrations procedures in order to start first of all park the machine on a smooth level surface shift the transmission to the neutral position lower the bucket engage the parking brake put blocks in front of the wheels install the steering fra fra frame lock shut down the engine then start to grab the tools that you will gonna need in order to make this calibration test or make this uh, engagement calibration procedures we will need digital pressure indicator or you can use tetra gauge a data link cable adapter uh, and et so shortly we will need a tetra gauge and the caterpillar et module first of all we will open the access door behind the cabin to access the tap points or remit remote tap points of the clutches so when when you open that door you will find this is the picture you've got this remote tap of the clutches here are the six clutches that we've got one two three four five six and these are other tap points for different pressures so this is the brake pressure this is the steering pressure this is the pressure of the transmission this is the pressure of the torque converter this is the um, uh, primary steering this secondary steering this is the pressure of the um, differential pressure uh, sorry the filter pressure of the transmission this is the pressure of the uh, transmission pump okay and these are the clutches okay one two three four five six okay let us proceed okay so we will connect the pressure sen sensor or the i'm so sorry the pressure gauge to clutch one okay this one then we will start to proceed where with the uh, test 
So uh, make sure that the transmission in the neutral position, make sure that parking brake engaged, parking brake is engaged. Start the engine, then warm the transmission until 40 degrees Celsius at least. Okay, then we can start to also, also there is, if you want to use the uh, solenoids itself, here is the map of the solenoid, which indicates the which indicates the um, the locations of the modulating solenoid valves. Okay, uh, so uh, right now, uh, so right now we've got two, uh, we, we've got six solenoids, we've got six solenoids, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay, uh, for example, uh, numbers, clutch number six, first gear is indicated by A. Clutch number one, which is responsible for the reverse direction, is, is located, is indicated by B, and so on, okay? Uh, operate the engine at the low ideal. Uh, if a new sol uh, clutch solenoid moderating valve was installed, shift the transmission for at least 12 times into a speed or a direction that uses the clutch solenoid in order to re regulate the solenoid. Refer to illustration 3 in order to identify the clutch solenoid, modulating valve and the corresponding clutch. Allow sufficient time for the corresponding clutch to be full, fully uh, pressurized. So in this table, you can find the pressures assigned to each clutch. For example, the clutch number 1 is 330 PSI. Clutch no number two, 330 PSI. Clutch number three, 370 PSI. Clutch and four, 370. Clutch five, 330 PSI. Clutch six is 370 PSI. Uh, perform. Uh, we will start to perform this calibration on the ET caterpillar, okay, by using this data. Okay, so once we use the Caterpillar ET, now I am using the Caterpillar ET trainer to illustrate. So simply we will start, uh, we'll press service, then calibrations, okay. Then we will press transmission, uh, clutch in gut engagement pressure, okay. Uh, so we can choose which one, but we will press start in order to start the six clutches. Okay, yes. Okay. So here we will start to calibrate each and single clutch. We, we can press them all in order for illustration and so on. Okay, so first of all connect the gauge to the valve to be cal calibrated let's us assume that we are gonna calibrate clutch number one okay which is we can use we can use the remote taps because this is not accessible it's under the cabin so clutch number one which is in the uh, in the access door which is this one okay then press next and then we warm the transmission by uh, you know accelerating the accelerator pedal bit by bit until the uh, uh, until the temperature reaches the required level and press next okay uh, then move the direction switch to the neutral then set the parking brake okay then verify ground speed set the engine speed between 510 and 725 move the direction to the forward position okay uh, use the increment and decrement the bottom until the pressure 189 psi. We, this is not uh, very correct because we are in the um, in the trainer mode. However, we will uh, uh, we will um, adjust on the pressure that we've got in the calibration. Let me. I'm so sorry for that. Okay. Uh, the pressure in the table here is 330. Okay, so we will gonna uh, increase and decrease by these um, by these arrows in order until the pressure reaches 330 psi. Knowing that by increasing the current, the pressure decreases. This is the modulating current of the modulating solenoid. 
and by decreasing the current the pressure increases so by the help of any colleague so one can start to increase and decrease the current and the other guy start to observe the pressure once the pressure reaches 330 then okay okay then we start to continue and we will repeat these steps on the six clutches and by the ending of this calibration the transmission will be calibrated and be ready to use and you can start after which performing the fill time calibration okay which we which we can uh, illustrate it or explain it in the next video thank you so much for following up our channel and if you got any questions please ask it in the comments have a nice day